seed. Wow, that is remarkable. Wow. I mean, um, they don't know about Paris. They obviously, yeah. Uh, um, Jiki upsetting Wookie. Wookie at a 49th. Um, Ray upsetting, or Reagan upset by. Not even trying to pronounce yeah. that. B pop upset an Argonon. Twitchy upset Jade. Oh, oh, here we that go. Is not Wolf. That oh, is that is. That's, a, that's another kind of dog. I'm sorry. All dogs look alike. All dogs look alike. <laughs> There we go. We're starting off with the Pirate Mithra. Um, we do know Microwave for another dog um, being Wolf, but um, excellent Nair to the up. The, um, yeah, and Microwave I think is truly, in my experience playing his Mithra and his Wolf, truly one of the most, like a diploma of efficiency in my opinion. The thing I've noticed, so when I, I've only played Microwave like once or twice, and it was back at the beginning of, uh, like right after quarantine. Right. And when I played Microwave, I was like, he did nothing that like impressed me, but he did everything right. right. Yes, that's when I, I fought him in losers at Smash Next Door. I went up two one against his uh, Pirate Mithra ZSS, which very proud of. Then went, then committed a um, what I would what I would refer to as an act of racism going away. and I was like, really? And it did not feel good. Regardless, um, also the magic. Man, I for half I a second I thought it would detonate the can. Right? I did too. Yeah, I was. Does that have, so for example, Link's Bomb detonates on fire. Does the can have right. the same? Uh, I don't believe so. Because I think of I think a bomb is technically quite criteria as like um like an aura. Or um It's like um Simon's um or uh, Belmont's um got oh, yeah. Belmont's um uh holy water. Richter's holy water, pardon me. Yeah, the holy water, yeah. The Richter holy water, not the Simon holy water. Ooh, excellent air dodge. Anticipating that can just come flying right at him. Because the only uh we only have one duck hunt active in Brought a match, aka Wonder Pig. Yeah, and active is sometimes a generous. Uh, Woo! Oh, okay, all right. Well, Jeez. taking that first stock, both players at you know, super high percent, two minutes in. I do want to give them um, big props to Fawn. It started off looking grim. Almost starting off the top at 90. Yeah, and taking out, stock equalizing it out. Um, uh, 10. Um, 10% evened up right here on our second stocks. Foresight, and now you're going to eat some damage, baby. Up air. Good good damage. Oh, going high right there. Oh, um. So like uh, Kakidorf upset the Twitchy. Kakidorf upset Twitchy over there. Not an upset. Not an upset, correct. Silly me. Oh, I like that. I like that. That's a, such a simple conversion. You know, not wanting to try and deal with um, possibly any foresight, even though it was. Um, Pyro on the screen, but the side beat to the up smash, just a lot of good damage being racked up. Does the uh, Duck Hunt Dog up B have a hitbox above it like K Rule? Nope. Okay, that's a very scary thing with that Pyro down air. It's so big. So you imagine a two for uh, like a spike on the recovery is going to be so easy. So, like, what you could do is you can up B, then you can up air and then like air dodge, because Duck Hunt's air dodge is actually pretty good. Ooh. Okay, okay. Well, that was a lot of interactions going on, and I don't know how to comprehend all of them. Lightning Buster. I feel like this is significantly more even than my brain thinks that it should be. Right. I mean, like, obviously you're pretty in your predisposition to think, oh, the worst character is gonna lose, but like Equalizer okay, again. once again. I love I love seeing these tight games. This just, Yeah, like none of these have been a stump. They've all been relatively close. And um ooh, here we go. Keeping the ledge right here. This is where Duck Hunt thrives. This right here, this screenshot was just yeah, if not you had a, to, it's a, it, 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 it give, that gave me a migraine just looking at it. If you had to say like, oh, build the, uh, the best situation Duck Hunt could have, you basically had it right there. The down air, oh, good good recovery from Fawn, just rushing him right there, usually taking her time to recover. Yeah, but and I think even if that uh, down, the Pirate down air had landed, I think the Duck Hunt still would have been fine. Perhaps, that, that move is a bit silly. Now here, Ooh. that can got the ball. I say, you're happy that's the can and not the dog. Okay. Oh, the, the base of the uh, of the wild gunman. Oh, okay. Wow. I did not think that was going to send that way, but I think the hit the can detonating. I'm expecting I'm expecting the 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 no thought head empty auto cancel bears to start coming out from my boy. I was say you're uh, <laughs> speaking it's like genius. Hacking with that up there, yeah. I am a smart individual, and smart individual being microwave is going to be uh, sealing it out in quite a uh, quite a uh, tense game one. A bit more closer than I think either side would have been would have liked it to be. But uh, microwave is going to be the one coming out on top in game one. Now I th I think the counter picks here are going to be and very potent. I think that this should be very volatile. Even though Mithra is a character, Pyro Mithra is a character that can just 
they can they can workshop anything thrown at them. Yeah. They're very they're nothing if not adaptable. They're good. I mean, that's the thing. Personally, Might be a little good. Personally, you know, controversial. I don't really think Fire Mithra are top five. They are really good characters, but if you are bad, Pyramithra is not going to carry you to results. Like, oh, they are not. only going to be as good as you are. So, yeah, that's just my thought on Pyramithra. Oh no, that's a, that's a very that's a very valid thought. I think um like like people are like oh Pyramithra can carry. I'm like this character no. this character can do a lot for you, but this character can't. they're not Kazuya, they're not Steve. Absolutely not. Oh, with a bash. I mean, it was a low percent, but Microwave was having none of that. It's always awesome to see people um, match out of people trying to pummel on the low percent. Yes. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, he's one of those like, you know, because I'm definitely a person. I'll try and pummel you more because like a lot of people aren't going to match, so I will try it. Oh, scary, scary. Oh, the drift. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah, it. That's unfortunate. Yeah. That's life. That that's is still life. taking it. That's life, and that's the matchup. There we go. A little bit of a better start here from Fawn, right? Um, oh, that stopped the um the the, yeah, the blaze the end. Wow. Out. Wow, Pyro Mithra is having so much trouble getting back on the stage after all those up airs. Disadvantage on him before. Yep, you up never throw. care about getting grabbed by Pyro Mithra, you just don't care. If, you just have to be ready for the up throw because you don't have any true combos. But if you're not ready, it's so fast, there's no end lag on it. But you can act out of it just as quick. We are seeing a bit of an upset. Um, two more upsets coming through. Capacito upsetting Lil Jill once again. Uh, okay. A little bit of a run back from your Arcadian. Fox Sword upsetting Kowtow and Steve, the man who smashes, upsetting the Buddha Bam. Oh, no. And Losers, I believe. Was that Losers or was that Winners? Probably Winners. Excuse me. That's why Steve was fighting uh, Frappe. Which I remember, it's supposed to be uh, Frappe and Buddha Bam. Here we go, but right now, um, Markwright's still kind of struggling to seal out this stock. Oh, wow. Oh, they are taking stock. Wow, three stocks to one right now. Fawn looking very comfortable. We are seeing the adaptation kind of come out here. Fawn just playing this. I don't know if we're seeing just microwave just not trying to find a lot of footing or Fawn is just adapting so well. Ooh, -hoo -hoo -hoo. Scary. A little bit of a dangerous spot to be in there if you're Fawn. Yep, good grab. Um, down throw perhaps. Not yeah, gonna kill this yet. Again, you just you do not care. If you grab Pyramid, you just do not care. Just hold down and out, you should be fine. Yeah. Unless you're at the ledge, then just hold in. Or down. Yeah, that'll finally take that stock. Oh, but, poor uh, little yipe! No, oh, that's so sad. We don't want to hear this on a day like this. We're donating for a pet agency. We don't want to hear the puppies yeah, yiping. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to throw to the can. Good. Yep. Good. Back in the damage, yeah. yeah 75? A JV3 from Fawn. What a. Because I think that the third hit of that S-Match, I think, is stronger. And uh, even if that had not killed, uh, Microwave did not have a jump. So yeah, that was a um, um a bit of a, a bit of a checkmate, checkmate spot. Yeah. Yeah. What a retaliation from Fawn. That's a a JV three. Like we see a lot of like strong responses after losing a game, whether it was tight or close, but not usually in a capacity like that. But here we are. We are going to be seeing um, PS two come out. Um, I think Microwave is definitely going to enjoy this, despite Duck being a bit of a zoner. He's not the zoner that we. He's an unorthodox zoner. He doesn't like. He likes to be a little bit close to you, even though you like. You say he's bad. It's okay. I, I, on the contrary, I think this con this character is not not that bad. I think this character is like a very healthy mid tier, maybe like a cusp of being high tier. If they had like one more good move, I think this character could be could really shot. But also, this character is not easy to play. No, yeah, the character, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a learning curve. Once you get it, it's it's not that bad. But certain oh, pistol P coming in clutch. Oh, okay. Is this gonna Side be? The, is this gonna be it? Nope. Oh, oh just barely not getting here. We go. Oh, now you're playing Mitch. Now you're playing neutral against Mithra, and that's never fun. Oh, a snipe! Oh, wow, okay, the can. Snipe in the can. That could have been dangerous. Oh, I knew that was coming. That's gonna not kill. I thought that was gonna be the stock. Prominence. Wow, that's colliding with the can. I think that pulled him in. For a second, I thought it was I thought he was dead. the guy sent the size. I thought Pyro was dead there. Yeah, I thought Pyro was 100% percent done so. But I've been wrong again. I've been wrong, and it'll probably happen again. Go, we haven't seen... Oh, that'll do it. I was just going to say, we haven't seen anyone um, see how to stock just yet, but here we go. We hear Triad or Rub not that heavy. So we are on the, the middle right here, but the equalizer running it. <laughs> it just went dead silent, and we heard one boo. See, I feel like that's the problem right there with uh, Pyro, though. Like 50%, you held in. Whoa, 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 okay. whoa, 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 hold up. Frisbee. What is happening? I'm surprised we're not seeing microwave foresight a lot of these play pitches. Like before it detonates, 
I feel like that would be like almost not a free punish, but like a very advantageous spot. It's kind of funny seeing the. Uh, it could be. It could be a read, read to be saved. Who knows? Right. Good roll, the roll <laughs> forward smash. But we are playing away smash right damage, damage, so, uh... Just neutral get up, play pigeon. Is that, yeah. is that option just bad good, or is microwave just not ready? I don't know, but I'd like to not see it happen a third time. Agreed. Oh, that's going to be a uh, throw into the... Yeah, we're, you know, back to even, microwave's uh, lead is disappearing. No, he has a... That killed wow, across that up on, on DI. Kind of Microwave might not have been rated DI. It might have been holding down and out and just what he was holding in, I guess. Okay. Where the hitbox said. Microwave is on. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Landing hitboxes. Oh, catching the lazy. Catching the lazy, we're catching the lazy drift to the edge right there. You got to be careful. That that is the force smash she tells you not to worry about. Oh, rolling in. Oh, crossing wow, up okay. the roll. What a. Wow. I am a little shocked. Here we go. This is a tense final stock situation here. Yeah, the winner well, of this stock takes the, uh, the set. Mm -hmm. And the winner of and the winner of this will advance to winner side top 48. One will advance to losers, making it out of pools regardless. Oh okay, god, a lot of damage. there's a lot of explosions going on, and there's a lot of people with guns. Yeah, say Pyramithra, they're getting pretty close to kill percent here. Duck is still safely in a little bit of range. Oh, the foresight, excellent, excellent um, foresight right there from Microwave. Oh. Good dash back from Fawn, dodging the dash attack. Oh, I was expecting a lightning buster, but may not want, uh, wanted to, um... May not wanted to, uh, like, be reverse and then accidentally SD or something. Yeah, switching back to Mithra to get that damage on. I'm tense watching this. Good grab. Up throw. <laughs> oh, that's a rough spot to be in. Oh, and taking it with the runoff. Of He's not dead. That was a lot of damage just racked up, though. Not techable. You can't tech yeah. that. That is a stock. Yeah, Triad exploding. Triad is letting all of North Carolina, not even Triad, the whole the whole state is just up in arms for their boy. That is an insane set. What a, that was, win or, win or lose, win or lose. Yeah, because I think that uh, I think Fawn survived the forward air, be because I think maybe the detonation of the can reset the knockback. It may have, but that auto but that, that back air just that back air uncheckable. If it was at 120, it is a bit early. But, but yeah, I agree. But, but also, you know, it, oh, it is banger sets. MP4 Moxie versus Jigs.